Hello students, today we are going to discuss your worksheet 27 for class 10th, date 4 September. So in this worksheet, we are going to discuss the life process chapter respiration. As we have discussed in the last two worksheets, it is in continuation with this, the human respiratory system can be divided into parts on the basis of its function. The first part you can say is the inhalation and exhalation part that means breathing part you can say and the second part is the exchange of gases part. So the system of interconnecting cavities and tubes conduct air into the lungs as we have seen that nose first takes the air which is inhaled then it passes through pharynx through the trachea it will reach your larynx then the trachea will connect it to the bronchi windpipe and the hair like trachea is lined with the fine hair called cilia which filters air before it reaches your lungs so so much filtration is there it is filtering in your nose it is filtered in trachea etc and then bronchia divides into two branches end to end you must be remembering that this was your trachea and then the this was the bronchi okay and the trachea was lined up with the cartilaginous c type rings which protect this from the collapsing and provide us the support second part was the system where exchange of respiratory gases occurs it was a respiratory bronchioles this is the narrowest area per lungs delivery air to exchange surface alveolar duct a network of small branches leading from bronchi into lungs tissue and ultimately asx and alveoli the functional respiratory unit in the lungs where gases oxygen carbon dioxide and exchange are so we'll discuss both these parts inhalation exhalation in the fabric way in this worksheet first one we'll talk of the inhalation and exhalation part and then we will talk of the your exchange of gases so first when we talk of inhalation the air rich in oxygen okay remember this is taken and it occurs due to the contraction of muscles attached to the ribs you can see in this part this is the inhalation part the ribs get flattened and which causes as the lifts uh, ribs lifts up and the diaphragm flatten because of which the diaphragm you can say is coming downwards slightly and the ribs are going upwards you can take deep breathing you will feel this in your chest also and the pressure inside the thoracic cavity decreases and air pushes inside the lungs because when you are increasing the space the amount of air in your thoracic cavity decreases as a result the higher pressure is outside which results and forces the air inside your body second is exhalation air rich in co2 we are throwing out so the muscles attach with your ribs let the ribs goes down and your diaphragm moves upward reducing your thoracic cavity volume and this is because the amount of volume amount of air present in your thoracic cavity is expelled out so this is how the inhalation and exhalation process occurs next is the exchange of gases so when we talk of exchange of gases this alveoli or this puff like structure generally known are the site where this exchange of gases is taking place and these are richly supplied with the capillaries these capillaries you can see actually this is the capillary part which is which has been shown and you can see this capillary is shown in blue color and this is your alveoli part so this blue color indicates that this capillary is having the deoxygenated blood that means the blood which is having carbon dioxide inside now you can see from this the blue lines are shown and from these your blood rbc's red blood corpuscles are shown these from these the co2 is going out okay and the oxygen is entering and as the co2 is going out and oxygen is entering the color of this rbc is changing that means it is coming from blue to red that means the deoxygenated blood is changing to oxygenated blood and this is how the gaseous exchange between alveoli and capillaries takes place now when we talk of this process actually this is known as diffusion process but when we talk of the size the body size of animal is large and the diffusion process alone cannot takes place in care of oxygen delivery to all parts of body so there is a respiratory pigment taking up oxygen from the air in the lungs and carry it to the tissue which are deficient in oxygen before releasing it and in human this respiratory pigment is hemoglobin because this diffusion process is simple it is from higher concentration 
to lower concentration but we human beings and other multicellular organisms are having so much number of cells this process is not sufficient to meet the requirement that's why the specific respiratory pigment is present in human beings which is known as hemoglobin which attaches oxygen with itself and also co2 so it help in throwing out of co2 and bringing of oxygen next so let's see the question answers what is the function of rings of cartilage so the tracheal cartilage helps support the tracheal while still allowing it to move and flex during breathing how is oxygen transported in large multicellular organisms you can see so the body size of animals is large the diff diffusion process alone cannot take care so instead of respiratory pigment takes up oxygen so in this paragraph you will get the answer of this question whole answer is given you have to write the complete answer because they have mixed it with the humans also so first you write about the large multicellular organism then you specifically you write about the human beings also third one is explain the movement of diaphragm during inhalation and exhalation so this you can easily write that the movement of diaphragm in case of inhalation it is going downwards and increasing the thoracic cavity volume and when exhalation it is going upward decreasing the thoracic cavity volume thanks for watching this i you can easily see from here in this the it diaphragm flattens or you can say it is going downward and during exhalation diaphragm going upward thanks for watching do like share and subscribe this channel thank you